Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, which is dust off my Xbox 360, pop in the original Borderlands game, and check out the very first character I ever made in the Borderlands franchise. Now, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, I basically only play Borderlands on the PC, but like most people, I started off on the Xbox 360 way back in the day because of my brother. He suggested I play the game, he had already beat it, he's like, you know what, try this game, you'll probably really like it. It. He gave me the disc to use, and I fell in love with it, man. It was a really fun game. I got my friend Nick to play with me, who you guys may remember from various series here in the channel. I was Mordecai. He was Brick. We beat the game together. We had no idea what we were doing, but it was so much freaking fun. And today, after like six or seven years, we're signing back in for the very first time, and I want to see what weapons I had what my talents were like, where I am in the game. I have no idea, it's been so long. So hopefully you guys will all sit back, relax and enjoy and basically take this journey down memory lane with me because it should be a pretty fun video. My goodness, check out these Xbox 360 graphics by the way. Look at the rigid edges on Claptrap right there. Let's go ahead and boot this up. Grab the hard drive, and I have no DLC I don't believe installed for this. I didn't play the original game nearly as much as I played Borderlands 2 or the pre-sequel. It looks like I've not signed into this character since 2013. My freaking goodness. And that was basically the only character I had. I had a level 1 Roland, who I had 5 minutes on, and then the level 2 Lilith. I guess I lied to you guys in the One Life Challenge. We just completed the One Life Challenge for the original game on PC, and I told you guys I've never played as Lilith before, but apparently that was a lie because back in 2012 I put 14 minutes and 45 seconds onto Lilith and I got her up to level 2. <laughs> Apparently that was a lie. Okay, let's go ahead and boot up Mordecai here. So I picked Mordecai because when you're looking at the initial class options at the very beginning of the game, he just sounds like the coolest character. He was a hunter, essentially, a sniper character, right? And so I thought he'd be pretty fun. My friend Nick went with Brick because he was the biggest and he thought maybe Brick would be tanky, which is kind of true, I suppose. When the remaster comes out, which is tomorrow, by the way, I think I'm going to be playing as Brick because I've never played as him before. Obviously, I have Mordecai here, who is my very first character. I did a full Let's Play as Roland, which by the way, thank you guys so much for the support on that Let's Play. It's actually insane how many views that Let's Play got. And then recently, we did the One Life Challenge with Lilith, right? So, the only character I have left would be Brick, which should be a lot of fun, but my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, oh, the Xbox 360 graphics, this is... <laughs> this is pretty rough. I was that close to level 40, and I just stopped, apparently. But let's check out the weapons. Let's see. Oh, what do I even press here? Did I press the back button? Okay, we press back to actually check these things out. So looking at proficiencies, it looked like I did try to use sniper rifles as much as I could. We had level 10 for the submachine guns, 7 for the pistols, 18 for the shotguns. So basically, snipers and shotguns were all I used. That makes a lot of sense. We have uh, level 3 here for the Iridium weapons, and then level 2 for the launchers. Not bad. $482,000 on my character, apparently. Let's check out our guns. We've got a liquid sniper there. We've got Sledge's shotgun. <laughs> of course, I'm still using Sledge's shotgun. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, the bone shredder, of course, right? I mean, we saw that as soon as we blew it up. Like, it's iconic, the bone shredder. And then a triple rocket launcher. Okay, a times four shock launcher. Not too bad. We're rocking the hunter class mod, which gives us blood wing damage, as well as aerial impact, swift strike, as well as out for blood. Our, we have a Bouncing Betty Shock Grenade, I guess, and then just a regular old Burst Shield. That's interesting. So we did have one Legendary, but I guess, wow, only one Legendary that entire time, huh? We got the Zirkov here, but it's only for a level 19. Let's go ahead and equip that over the Liquid Sniper just to see what it's like. We have an Elephant Gun. Okay, of course we have the Elephant Gun. We did the missions for that. TK's Wave, a level 36 one. <laughs> We're in playthrough 2, obviously, so we got a little ways into playthrough 2 before moving on to Borderlands 2 itself. Uh, pistol fire rate, okay. Well, this is so cool. I, apparently, I never used this. Oh, we can't use it because we already have it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess we already have it. Why can't we equip it? Let's see. Probably because we already have level 4 on it. Yeah, we already have level 4 for explosive and level 4 for fire. Okay, so here are the talents I took. We basically built into Rogue and not so much Sniper. Why would I not? Why would I not? <laughs> It's so funny looking back at your original character because the final talent here, guys, your bullets have a chance to ignore shields and also gives you increased bullet damage. If you 5 out of 5 that, you ignore shields entirely. 
all the time, 100% of the time, and your bullets and your guns do 5% more bullet damage, right? Why didn't I take that? Instead, oh, I guess I was building into making Bloodwing better. <laughs> It makes sense. I loved Bloodwing. I was so devastated in Borderlands 2 when, well, what happened to Bloodwing happened to Bloodwing. But we took Swift Strike here to get damage and movement speed for him. Out for Blood. When your Bloodwing strikes an enemy, you gain health based on the event. Okay, so we're throwing out Bloodwing to heal ourselves. I like that talent. Aerial Impact. Uh, your attacks from Bloodwing can daze enemies, reducing their movement speed and accuracy. And then, of course, this will increase the amount of targets he can attack. And then for the sniper ones here, we did sniper rifle damage, we did accuracy with all guns, and then we 4 out of 5 carry and call, which is going to make it so shooting the enemy with a sniper rifle reduces the cooldown of blood wing. So I will give credit to very old Nero here. I was building in the blood wing pretty well, I would say, based on these talents, but man, just why did I not take trespass? That's such a freaking good talent. Like, that's the reason why people play Mordecai these days, but again, it was my very first time playing Borderlands. I had no idea. I was just like, I like blood wing. I like pet classes, which by the way, I am definitely, most certainly going to be playing as the hunter style character in Borderlands 3. Of course, the Beastmaster, I think his name is Flack. I'm definitely going to be playing as him because he, I feel like he's going to be a sniper style character, but I also really like the idea of being able to use pet classes, essentially. Not even in just games like Borderlands, but games in general, like even in Warcraft. Like I, my first character was a hunter in Warcraft, and then my next character was a warlock. Like I like the idea of pets. I mean, they're just a lot of fun to me. And sending out Bloodwing like this and having him just fly through and attack everything. Look at him go! This is so cool! <laughs> he just flies around destroying everything! Yeah, man, I'm definitely playing as the Beastmaster. That is going to be a lot of fun. So here's going to be the sniper. Oh my gosh, guys. I can barely use this Xbox 360 controller. I can barely use this. Like, the the it feels like there's such a dead zone on this. There's something wrong with my controller? I can barely aim this thing on these guys that are super far away. Like, the sensitivity and everything is so bad. All right, Bloodwing, go do some damage because I can't. Look at the damage Bloodwing can do. We'll swap this out to an SMG. Yeah, thing about building the Bloodwing like that, though, is I have, like, nothing else to make my actual guns any better whatsoever. So, that's a bit of an issue, I would say. Here's old Sledgy Shotgun. Let's see if we can go kill Bonehead. But I've got to say, once again, like, the sensitivity and everything feels so weird. It's partly due to the fact I'm used to playing on PC, but also the fact that I'm using a very, very old Xbox 360 controller. Like, this thing is so old that the thumbsticks are completely, like, wore out on it. That would miss. There we go, get rid of that shield. Now, Bloodwing, go and attack, bud. And I can't see how much damage you did. Oh, we did a decent amount of damage there. Man, I wish I could just, like, install a keyboard and mouse right now. <laughs> this is rough. We're going to keep on trying to get crits with this. But keep in mind, this is actually a really bad sniper that we're using. This is a legendary that's designed for level 19. So, actually, let's just go ahead and toss out a couple of these grenades. There we go. Ooh! I don't know what grenade that is, but it's working. And now we're going to kill Bonehead with his own Bone Shredder. All right, now that we have a better weapon out, let's see if we can actually take out this brute here. There he is. He's looking quite angry over there. He keeps stuck in behind cover. Let's actually swap this out to the Fire SMG. We'll mess around with that and see how that actually goes. I don't think my submachine gun proficiency is really all that good. Oh my gosh, the fire rate on this thing. Bloodwing, go deal with him for me, please. As we switch back to our sniper and hopefully get a couple of crits off. There we go. Yeah, so it turns out using a level 19 sniper rifle at level like 37 slash 38 is not exactly the way to go. <laughs> not exactly the way to go, but my goodness, once again, I cannot overestimate the fact that this feels so freaking weird to be using an Xbox 360 controller again with like this default field of view and everything. This is, this is very strange. But let's see about that bone shredder here. Uh, it's exactly the same as the one we already have. I was hoping for maybe a little bit of a better one to drop, but we're so close to level 40. I kind of want to get level 40 here in this video. That'd be kind of fun, but again, it's so much fun just to go back here to the game and just see all these things I had. Wow, I stocked up on those, <laughs> on those healing kits there, apparently. Could have definitely used that earlier. Got some Krosa stuff. I can't believe after all that, though, I had one legendary to my name. And I'll, I bet I know what happened. Either, let's look. Yeah, either I sold all of them because I'm like, okay, I like this legendary that I have, but, you know, I can't really do anything with it because it's a super low level, so maybe I got rid of it. Or I just simply never had 
any legendaries. That's also a possibility. Now, I remember telling the story during my One Life Challenge that I used to have this corrosive shotgun that I used, like, all the time back in this game. I wanted to see, like, was it unique? Was it legendary? Like, I'm really not sure. It's been a very long time. And now that we're back here, I see that I don't have a corrosive shotgun on me whatsoever. So I'm thinking what happened is I ended up selling at some point all of those old school weapons. Like the guns I used to beat the game initially, once we got here in the playthrough 2, I think I got rid of most of them. Like if I had any legendaries or uniques or whatever, I probably just ended up selling them because they were kind of useless. And obviously there's no bank system here. There is a bank system if you have the Moxie DLC, but I don't think I had any of the DLC for this game. I did Let's Plays of all the DLC here on the channel, but that was all on PC, right? That was all PC content, and so I don't think I even owned the DLC here on this game on the Xbox 360. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. <laughs> Apparently, the default color I chose was pink for the vehicles. That's interesting, but we're going to head on out here to the doll headland. We're going to kill us some bandits real quick because I would really, really like to go ahead and... Uh, it gets to level 40 here in this video, so we have to go all the way up here to the very end. Okay, so I want to make sure we're going to the, r the right way. Let's speed things along here. We could probably level up just by killing things, but let's drive around a little bit. Why not? And I also like the fact that I, the last time I logged out, which was, again, back in, like, 2013, I like the fact that I logged out in Firestone. Firestone's my favorite place in... On Pandora, like, in, in the entire Borderlands universe, I love Firestone and the Arid Badlands, mostly because it's where you initially do everything, right? It's where the game kind of starts for everybody. It's where it all started. And they actually acknowledge that in Borderlands 2. Um, you actually get an echo log where Handsome Jack says to make sure they don't actually burn down Firestone because that terrible old town or wherever is where it all began. And that's true, right? I'm very happy that Firestone was in Borderlands 2, and I'm hoping that somehow we see it in Borderlands 3. Alright, Sludgy so Shotgun did not work right there, but Bloodwing will. Go get him, Bloodwing. There we go, there we go! And Bloodwing gets us up to level 40. Well, now that we're level 40, I suppose we can continue the build that I was working on and just put the final point here into carry and call. There we go. <laughs> just completely building into Bloodwing, but the downside to this is if you don't have, like, decent guns, like, you basically rely on Bloodwing to do everything, like, He'll kill things like that, which is insane. Like, he took down the shield and everything on that Ravager. But when Bloodwing's not able to do a lot of damage, I do no damage, essentially. So, looking back on it, I may have been very, very reliant on Nick to actually, like, carry a lot of the damage. Where is this guy that's doing all this damage? Oh, it's actually these guys over here. We're going to back up against them. Screw that. Until Bloodwing comes back, I'm not playing no games. <laughs> we got that guy up there as well. Let's go ahead and swap out to the... Oh, never mind. We're going to go SMG against this guy. Oh my gosh, the fire rate. The fire rate on this SMG. It's so bad. There we go. I could definitely feel, by the way, the 30 frames per second on this game. It's actually kind of nuts. Oh, come on. There we go. So the remaster is going to be a lot of fun in that respect. Let's go ahead and use a healing item here. I have enough of them, apparently. <laughs> my goodness. This is bringing back so many memories. But I'm very happy that the game is being remastered. People are going to be able to experience this on new systems with 60 fps and hopefully fov sliders on pc and oh it's gonna be so good it is going to be so good but blood wings back let's see if we can push these guys here what we got there's going to be the bad rap this ravager here is doing a lot of damage but not enough when blood wings attacking look at my gun this is the bone shredder and it's doing nothing it is doing oh there we go we're getting some crit damage but that's mostly because of blood wing come on blood wing i need you to keep on doing damage here buddy which button? There we go. We have right for the sniper rifle. There's a regular Ravager over here. Oh, he's ducking. There we go. Oh, that would not hit. I think what I should actually do is go back to the sniper that I was using, essentially, here. Like, we have this, uh, this Wrath right here, but I was using the Liquid Sniper before, which does a lot more base damage. Let's go ahead and just equip that. We're going to see if maybe that'll help us out, because right now, I mean, we built in the Bloodwing, and Bloodwing's, like, the only character really doing anything, so we'll see. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. This sniper rifle is much better. It's also got a better fire rate. Oh, I wanted to get that barrel, but he ran away. The aim assist is also really throwing me off here. It is really, really throwing me off. Bloodwing, go finish him off for me, bud. There you go. There's 12 of our 15 bandits. Over here is going to be that Ravager again. If I took the right talents, I could ignore his shield entirely. But then again, it seems like with one shot, you go right through his shield anyway. He's almost dead. We can toss out some grenades on him, I suppose. But I'd rather just finish him off here. 
And remember that every shot with our sniper is also working towards bringing back Bloodwing, which is really cool. That's actually not a bad uh, idea for a build. There you go, Bloodwing. Bloodwing plus Sledge's Shotgun. We should be able to finish him off. Oh my gosh. Come on, Bloodwing. There you go. <laughs> Bloodwing did it for us. Now we have these guys down here. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to turn off aim assist. I legitimately... Like... I feel like I'm stupid right now. I legitimately am having such a hard time, like, getting my reticle on these guys. There's such a dead zone on this controller. It's actually insane. And... Maybe, again, maybe I'm just used to PC, but this is taking forever. There we go. But I still play COD on console. Like, I'm still pretty good with a controller, but jeez. And... Fish Mop Bloodwing. There you go, buddy. And he dropped, a, dropped us a glorious havoc, I suppose. Now, here's the thing. There are so many... Oh, is that all of them? Nope. They're still coming. Let's try and blow these up. There we go. And let's swap away from that thing, because that is an absolutely terrible SMG. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't wait to watch back this footage. I want to see if, like, the video is as frame ratey as it is for me playing. I can feel the frame rate, like, being at 30 FPS all the time, but also dropping from 30 FPS. Oh, hello. Excuse me, pardon me, Mr. Rocket Launcher Man. I didn't mean nothing by it. I forgot all about that guy. All right, so Bloodwing. Hold on, he's going to be back here in just a second. You go get him. Woo! But Bloodwing's AI is also kind of odd in that... Those are very slow-moving projectiles. My goodness. His AI is kind of weird in that you have to be looking at him, essentially, uh, for Bloodwing to even attack. You also have to be kind of close. Like, right now, Bloodwing's not attacking at all. Which is kind of odd. And they actually referenced that, I believe, in uh, in Borderlands 2. With some dialogue between Lilith and Mordecai. Talking about how, like, Bloodwing wouldn't attack unless Mordecai was actually watching. Because it kind of, like, ties into the coding that we have here in this game. Like, right now, Bloodwing is literally just flying around. Not attacking. Because I'm, like, on the other end of this wall from this guy. And because of that, like, he doesn't want to attack or something. But if I actually run forward, Bloodwing will attack. There you go, buddy. I'll just spam him down here with this sniper rifle and just avoid these very slow-moving projectiles. Come on, Bloodwing. Why, why aren't you attacking? Okay, he wanted me to do it. <laughs> he wanted me to do it myself, I guess? <laughs> Let's run here and save old Lucky real quick. Oh, there you go, Lucky. Don't say I never did nothing for you. And we get a transfusion grenade. I'm not even going to bother with it. Hey, thanks for keeping that dick bag alive long enough for me to pound on later. Much as it pains me to admit, Lucky knows the area better than anyone. Might want to use him while he's alive for me not having killed him and all. Oh, thank you, Scooter. Let's check for a Lego. Ah, oh, Relentless Stinger. It would have been really cool if a Legendary would have been here. But let's let's go back to Firestone. Let's wrap up this trip down memory lane. And uh, let's head on. Oh, we can't. Can we not? Oh, it's on the other end of it. That's the bounty board. Duh. <laughs> Oh, we can't use fast travel right now. Hmm. Well, that's what my character looks like, by the way. These are the colors I chose. Red, red, and black. <laughs> Even though that black looks a bit more like blue here. That's kind of odd. But I guess we could just simply drive back to Firestone. But this was definitely a lot of fun. Now, I'd love to hear down there in the comments, guys. Who was your original character for your very first Borderlands experience? Oh, I've got a shotgun for you, my friends. Did you start off with Borderlands 2? Was it the original Borderlands? Did you play with the pre-sequel? Like, what was your very first Borderlands experience? And what character did you go with? And when was the last time you signed into that character? If, if you're like me, it's probably been a very long time. Let's go ahead and flip this back up. It's so much fun. Like, I, w I wonder what Nick's Brick character is like right now. Like, what weapons did he have on Brick? Like, what build did he go with? I don't even know how you build Brick. I'm actually very excited for the remaster because I'm excited to see what it's like to play as Brick. And I th it's going to be so much fun just going through the game again. We got to go back this way. It's going to be fun going back through the game again, even though we literally just did it with the One Life Challenge. But it's going to be fun playing with my brother. It'll be my first time playing the original Borderlands with my brother. I played Borderlands 2 with him all the time. In fact, we were playing Borderlands 2 last night, working on the OP levels. And, man, I can't wait for the remaster. It's going to be so much fun. And, of course, I will be doing a Let's Play of it here on the channel. Hopefully, my brother will be part of it. If not, for some reason, not, then I'll do it solo, of course. But uh, I'm hoping he's going to be there. It should be kind of a fun dynamic here for the channel because... God, these loading screens forever take forever, by the way. But um, it should be a pretty fun dynamic because neither of us have played the original game together. And also, like, we both have played a lot of the original game. And we're going to be experiencing the remaster. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, definitely let me know down there in the comments 
who is your original Borderlands character? What game did you start off with? And have you played that character in a while? I would definitely love to hear about that. I did a video similar to this, actually, back in Borderlands 2, where I signed into, like, my original Zero character and everything. And I guess now I think about it, I tend to lean towards these sniper characters, which is kind of odd, considering... Uh, in Borderlands 2, I now play as Krieg, who is, like, as far from a sniper as you could possibly be. But my first character here was Mordecai, obviously. And then in Borderlands 2, when we started up the Let's Play, I started off as Zero. And then eventually, I moved over to Axton, and then from there, I went over to Krieg. But, and now with the, you know, Borderlands 3, and based on what we know, I'm going to be playing as another sniper-ish kind of a character. The Beastmaster, you would assume, is going to be a Hunter-style character. So, that's definitely going to be pretty interesting. But, ladies and gentlemen, as we... Enter Firestone here for the final time, likely, maybe, on this character. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into the video here today. It was a lot of fun taking that trip down memory lane. And, again, leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. What was your very first Borderlands game? And when's the last time you played on your very first character? I would love to hear about that. But until then, thank you guys all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.